JTMP was down on Capitol Hill following Tour de Frac in a real true grassroots citizen lobbying effort as they visited their elected officials in the various satellite buildings around the U.S. Capitol to explain the facts about how hydraulic fracturing or fracking is harmful to the environment and our health. Tordy Frack feels the Pennsylvania state government has let them down, so they're seeking redress at the federal level. We caught up with them as they visited the Hart Senate Office Building, named after Michigan Senator Philip A. Hart, who served in the Senate from 1959 till his death in 1976, and was called the conscience of the Senate. The citizen activists, who biked all the way from Butler, Pennsylvania to meet with their elected officials, met in the lobby and discussed strategy. Then they headed to the office of Senator Mikulski from Maryland to meet with her aide to explain the facts about the harmful effects of fracking, especially the pollution it dumps into the Chesapeake Bay. The meeting went well, and it showed true grassroots democracy in action. Check JTMP.org and TorDefrac.com for more info and to help us say no freaking fracking. TorDefrac, you know you're down. You guys are down here, you know, visiting the uh, representatives and the senators' buildings. You know, representing. You know, tell me, uh, tell me how you know what your experience has been today and, and a couple of the meetings and what's been going on. Well, we've been fortunate enough to be able to set up a few meetings, and the first one we went to was with Representative Mike Kelly. Uh, his One of his Pennsylvania offices is actually in Butler and right on the square where we started. So, kind of fitting that we started in front of his office, and he was our first meeting here this morning. Uh, the representative, he did listen to us, and he did accept what we had to give him. Who, what was his name again? The representative Mike Kelly. Kelly, yeah, okay. And he did accept the stories, and he did say that he would look at One of the things he did agree to do is that he would meet with the individuals in Conequinessing Township who have been affected. That's so excellent. we'll be looking to set that meeting up here in August while he's home during his recess. And we really need to make sure that we hold him accountable to that promise. Uh, he was not as deeply concerned as, as I had hoped. He uh, made several references to making contacts at the state level so that this is more of a state issue for him. Uh, but as I'll continue to say, the state of Pennsylvania, the DEP, has failed when it comes to water testing. They've ignored their own scientific data and gone in favor of the industry. So the strong federal oversight is what's needed in this industry because specifically in Pennsylvania, and I'm not sure about all states, but in Pennsylvania, our oversight has failed us. So that's one of the reasons, didn't you, that you started Tordy Frack, to bring it to the federal level, right? As you, you were being failed by your state representatives. Well, how did, um, uh, you met with uh, uh, Senator Mikulski's aides, um, or an aide, uh, t tell us about that. I think Senator Mikulski, I believe, is an ally, too. She is someone who's deeply concerned about global warming and also has, seems to have a very genuine concern about the health and the safety of the Chesapeake Bay, you know, the lung of Maryland that, that is, helps uh, replenish and purify all of the water that comes within its watershed and I had a lot of respect for her for some of the things that she had done and I really hope that she can use the accounts some of the misery and the di uh, disaster stories that have come out of Pennsylvania to bolster her stance and to get other senators to stand with her to ban this practice. I noticed um, you all bringing um, you know props with you today uh, did, did you show that to to uh, to the aide and, 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 and use that as a prop to get your point across? Yeah, we did. And um, myself, Jody, Ping, and Zach were able to. And um, it was Lily Lilibet. Lilibet. I'm Lilibet. so sorry. We were a, we we had to break up initially, and so we started the meeting, and then um, the rest of our crew came in, and we were able to speak with um, Representative Pat Toomey's assistant, and it was really interesting because um, so Senator Pat Toomey, Senator Pat Toomey, yeah, yeah. Um, and we were able to show this, and we all gave. Um, and for the for my view, it would tell us where you got this water from and, and what's going on with we it. We got this water from a tap in Butler County. And um, it's, you notice the color that is very um, 
brown. It was actually darker earlier on this week. Um, this was taken from a tap and the Pennsylvania DEP said that it was perfectly safe to drink, although um, it's pretty murky. And, um, and was murkier. And was even murkier. And uh, this was the, I believe, was this the second one that was pulled from? I'm not sure which tap this was from. This is the second gallon that was um, pulled from a tap. And the first one was a little less murky. This one became murkier. And by the time that they were filling up the third gallon, uh, the well ran dry. And that was never a problem before fracking came into the area. And this is Kim McAvoy. Um, this is from her her tap. And um, previously, she, her, um, this is actually a picture of her right here. This is her story. Um, she never leased her land to gas companies. Instead, she, um, one of her neighbors did that, and so she has um, been left to deal with the consequences. And um, I think that her story is very powerful because I know that this is what Jason, what got Jason involved initially, um, and it's also what got Jody involved in this movement as well. And so um, there are some stories that you know people gravitate towards, and it really gets them fired up, and it makes them impassioned. Um, and by bringing these stories to the senders, we're able, all of us are able to contribute um, our best gifts um, in order to make their voices heard. Um, Thomas did an excellent job documenting a lot of the picture, do documenting a lot of the, um, the journey, and so he's been able to use that gift, and um, it's been really, really cool. And so although not all of the senators are very receptive initially at, um, at like really making significant promises, um, a lot of them, like Jason said, are focused on um, like making contacts. It seems as though they've been receptive, and they, I think that this is a really cool concrete um, demonstration of what we've done so far. Yeah, sounds good. So you all are going to hit lunch and then um, see a couple more uh, uh, representatives? Yeah, we're going to go see Senator I'm, I'm Imhoff. Imhoff from Idaho. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then we have a meeting with uh, Senator Bob Casey's staff at 3.30. In. in, in, not out, but in. Is that it? Yeah. I think that's why I keep saying it wrong. In yeah, I think it is in hall. No, I think it is an N, as in Nancy. You're right. Yeah. One N. So, all right, cool. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you.